everybody welcome back to the next episode on the Vespa repaint I left you off in yesterday's video and we dropped the base coat down now I left the base coat as you can see we've got all the parts hanging up I left this base coat it's a solvent base I left it all day now you don't have to do that when you come to do your solvent base coats it can dry down you can go straight into clear coat the reason why i didn't go straight into clear coat is because the studio was really dusty after spraying the base and all the floor was dusty i didn't want any dust kicking up when i came to the clear coat stage so i've come in this morning gutted all the floor repapered it all blew everything down so we're good for clear coats just, just to try and keep these pieces nice and clean it saves you doing denibbing and more work later on in the stages now the first thing i've done because this base coat was dried right down i came in with a gray scotch bright as this is a solid color and just scuffed all the panels with the gray scotch bright and went through one so we've got a repair to do on this one there's a tiny bit of white where the primer is showing there where i caught the corner so we can get the ps290 drop a bit of blue base coat in puff a bit of blue over that and that one's fixed and good to go the next thing to do on this on this actual handlebar piece here if that's picking that up you can see a number one then it's got a dot two three and then four on the original bikes on the actual paint jobs you will get an inlay a white inlay on them numbers on the actual handlebar so when you select your gear you can see what gear selection you are in so we've got to drop the inlay back in on that handlebar now how i'm going to do that is first off is grab the bins because i ain't got a prayer in that without them the next thing is to use some white airbrush paint we're using golden high flow titanium white so we've got a white acrylic and then i will go in with a 0.2 artist brush now these are really really fine point guys so you can drop a little bit of paint on and go in on that inlay drop it on if it bleeds over the edge you can slightly wipe it so you just get the paint to the inlay and that's how we're going to do that so that's what we've got to do we'll fix that piece drop the inlay in and then these pieces are all good for clear we will clean everything down tack rag panel wipe degrease all the pieces so they're good for clear so that's all them ready to go the clear coat that we're using and that i would highly recommend guys if you are looking out for a clear coat and you're just starting to do your own pieces or paint your own scooters check out capsi coatings this is the hs6030 by capsi and i highly recommend it guys it's really nice clear coat if you've watched the previous videos on the Vespa repaint when it comes to clear coat that's the clear coat I've been using across the board on this scooter and it just lays down really nice gloss levels brilliant it's just a really nice easy clear coat to get on with now the way I will spray this clear coat is I will do one just basically two wet coats I don't go in like a half coat or I just go in straight in as though I'm doing a finished coat with the first coat I will let that flash off for about 15 minutes in a temperature in here is about we'll just check the temperature in the room it's 19 degrees in here 19.5 nearly 20 it's just on tick over the heat so it's nice and warm everything's warmed up i'll give it a 15 minute window flash off and then i'll just do the same with the second coat like the first coat nice full wet coat job done and then just leave it for a day a couple of days and then if you've got any like nibs you can just nib it out and polish it and it polishes up really nice gloss levels are brilliant so that's the capsi coatings i'll leave a link in the description where you can pick this up you can buy it in a 7.5 litre kit at around 98 pounds or you can buy it in the 1.5 so if you want to try it on some panels or do some small jobs you can go the cheaper route and buy it in the smaller quantities which is really good i find so that's what we're using spray gun today is going to be it's got to be it's the db1s it's an outstanding gun guys if you're looking for a mini jet gun as well yes they're priced out there is a review on the channel which i've just done recently on this gun unboxing it is outstanding it really is this is the one mil setup i've used to do the spray job on this vespa and it pumps the clear out the actual cap is the devilbiss hvlp and it's the dv1 
S1 Plus cap, and that's on the one mil setup. We'll be running this about 1.5 bar, full fluid. We'll dial the fan in, job done. I've just got a cheap a &I reg on the bottom, does the job. So that's what we're using gun-wise. So I think I've covered everything. So the first thing to do is get these bits fixed that I've slightly gone through over there. Get these numbers dialed in. I'll stick in some time lapses and then I'll show you at the end of the video the clear coat. So see you in a bit. that little bit there in real time for you so we dropped the blue base coat in the ps290 and it did spit out for a start there's a little bit of overspray that spat over the cap was a little bit loose sorted that out we've dropped the blue that i broke through when i scotch brighted it so that's puffed in on the blue so that bit's done then i moved on to the actual handlebar casing at the top now on these you get a little indicator dot to the top of these so i went in with some white acrylic first drop the white in and then i've done the like the neutral i think it's the neutral marker it'll line up red and then on this piece here it's the same again we've got the red dot to line up for your neutral then you've got one forward two three and four in the white so it's all nice and clear against the blue so that just makes it a lot more original and you can see what gear select you are in so that's them pieces done the next stage to do is I will dry these two pieces off because that was quite thick white paint going in. I know it's only small, but I'll put it near the heater, cure that right down, and then we can wipe all these bits down in panel wipe degreaser, blow it off, tack bag it, and then I'll take it through the clear coat stage. See you in a bit. Two coats of clear down. I'll give you a little pan round. It's gone down really nice with the DV1. As you can see, an absolute immaculate finish on that. Really nice. All round. We've got the bit we've done the inlay in. There's a teeny little bit of dirt and it just landed on that, but we can nib that out later. But that's gone down nice. Really flat, as you can see on that. And the handlebar casing again, absolutely mirror finish on that as well. We've got a tiny dirt nib there, but we can nib that one out when it's dried out. And you've got your little inlay piece in there with the red dot. That's the silver casing done, all cleared nice. And the bottom part of the handlebar casing, all gone down nice. So that's it for the clear coat guys. I've just turned the heat on here now. We're just gonna cook this down, cure it off, give it a day or so, and then I can come in just with them little nibs and it's all done. So I hope you've enjoyed this 
these episodes on the Vespa repaint. I've got two more pieces that are going to be coming once all these go. I've got a petrol tank to do and I've got the fork legs to do in the silver to match this. So don't forget if you're new to the channel click that subscribe press that notification so you don't miss out on any more up and coming videos on drill effects custom paint thank you for all the comments it's much appreciated guys and i'll see you in the next one cheers Bye.